one, it's me, Blanche. Now, who doesn't love a good tuna sandwich? When done properly, it can be the most comforting, filling, delicious, and healthy food around. Case in point, my dad. When he was working, he used to make tuna sandwiches every Friday at his wholesale. He had like a Middle Eastern foods wholesale. And everyone in the neighborhood knew that my dad was making this special tuna sandwich, kicked up Mediterranean style. And they used to come just for this sandwich. And today I'm going to teach you how to make it right here on Feast in the Middle East. All right, now in this sandwich, there are some things that are usual and unusual. Let's start with some of the unusual stuff. My dad puts a hard boiled egg in there. I mean, don't knock it till you try it. It adds a richness and a cool texture to the sandwich. He puts both celery and pickles as well as scallions, but they have to be minced very finely, okay? So what I'm going to do is just mince them really fine so that we could add it to the sandwich, which is great because it does, it is called a tuna salad sandwich. So it kind of has a salad inside the sandwich. So if you don't really want to eat a salad with it, you don't have to. Now here are some pickles. I just had a few. We're just going to cut them and chop them finely. I love pickles. You know, dill goes well with tuna, so it makes sense to have some dill pickles in the sandwich. And we also have a scallion. Scallion. You could also use red onions if you prefer. If you're an onion person, you like the onions. So I'm just going to chop, finally chop the scallions here. So the finer you chop it, the better. So I'm just lumping it all together, right? And what I have here is 12 ounces of tuna. I always get lime caught tuna because it has less mercury. So I always get wild lime caught tuna, right? We're going to add all the veggies to the tuna, just like this. A lot of tuna salads have too much mayo, but we're not gonna put a ton. I'm going to use two tablespoons of mayonnaise. So one and two. And the kind of mayonnaise I like, no endorsement here, I like the Primal Kitchen one because it's made with avocado oil. Um, if you could find one made with just olive oil, that would be great too. But we are going to add the Middle Eastern essence of olive oil to this as well. So this is Harvest Peace. If you go to harvestpeace.com, you could get 10% off using Blanche TV. This is like the best olive oil, especially in a sandwich like this. It adds a lot of uh, fruity elements to it. So I'm gonna start with uh, one tablespoon. You could add more if you wish. This will make about uh, three servings, or if you're really hungry and you wanna eat the whole thing by yourself, you're gonna be full for the whole day. This will probably do you in. To this, I'm going to add a little bit of garlic powder. So, this is, a real, this is an organic garlic powder and it's very powdery, almost like, it has a consistency of like powdered sugar. So it melts in really nicely. So about, you know, a dash of uh, garlic powder. And we're also going to add a little bit of Dijon. I love Dijon. Uh, if you don't like it, you could omit this, but we're gonna add some Dijon, just like about a teaspoon. And what I'm going to do is uh, also finely chop the hard boiled egg. Okay, so we got a hard boiled egg. This is protein packed, this tuna salad. All right, so let's just cut it finely like that. And we are going to add that to the mix. And for some lemony flavor, we add lemon pepper and of course some fresh lemon juice. So this has got everything you could imagine in here, all right? So we're going to stir this around. You can see the yolk add some color. I'm gonna show an unconventional way. I know I said sandwich at the beginning of this episode, but I'm going to show an unconventional way to serve this tuna, because it seems like so many people watching my channel want some low carb options. So I'm going to give them to you. And always taste it. I mean, I don't tend to add salt because the condiments and the tuna are naturally salty, but if you want to add a little salt, always taste it to make sure that, you know, it is to your liking. So right now I'm gonna, mmm, this is incredible guys. You really need to try it. You don't need a ton of mayonnaise to make a good tuna salad. You really don't. I love the dill and the pickle. The olive oil really comes through 
a hint of Dijon, not too much mayo, but the garlic powder, oh my gosh, like all these flavors blend so beautifully together. So right now, here's a serving suggestion. I like to put tuna salad and vegetables in particular. I like endive because like Belgian endive or endive, whatever you want to call it, because it's nice and crispy and it's it'll make a nice um, presentation if you have a party or something, right? And another alternative I like is on bell pepper, just like this. Bell pepper, you can also put it in tomatoes and avocado, like this would be an entire meal if you like take an avocado and put it in there. Or you could also um, make lettuce wraps with it. So I really like butter lettuce. If you want butter lettuce, um, it's really tasty that way. See, but there you go. I mean, that's it. This is very simple. Do you guys want more simple recipes like this with the Mediterranean twist? Let me know. Hope you enjoyed this. This is something that I eat any day of the week. Honestly, this is like what I'm sharing, what I eat probably twice a week because it's so good. I mean, it all started with my dad and his store bringing in the, the customers, luring them with the tuna sandwich, and it ended with me here on YouTube sharing it with you. So let me know in the comments what you think, and I'll be back soon with more recipes.